Is this why she turned to adventure? Uh, your chance to get rich. Oh, okay. She went to betting. No. No. But what I do? They were here. Today we're going to be watching Adventures Who Don't Believe in Humanity Will Save the World. Now, uh, this just came out today. Uh, as you can see, next episode in basically seven days. Uh, I don't know nothing about it. Or it came out yesterday, actually. It came out the third. My bad. But uh, I got no idea what it is. But the title alone is interesting. So let's check it out. <laughs> Sounds like my cup of tea, Nick. Splash Buckler. What? Okay. Okay, cool. What do you do? The girl broke up with him. What? <laughs> I was expecting a redemption arc. No. What? I did not expect that. What? What the freak? I expected him to have like a either, you know, as people would say, a villain arc or a redemption arc or a training arc. Not not this. <laughs> I didn't expect him to just say, I'm a dip. <laughs> Alright, y'all gotta skip the OPs because of copyright. No fun. This man, that guy is crying. His heart is shook. His heart is shaken and stirred. I mean, this looks great. I'm just saying. I mean, some of it does look weird, but like this, this looks kind of funky, but certain frames are great. Hmm. Looks like a difference in opinions led to the dis disbandment of the group. Oh, is that why he ended up becoming an otaku idol fan? You left the umbrella with him. Wow. Well, now you need to go at least once. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude, you were hooked, line and sinkered. <laughs> oh no. Now he's doing everything just for that idol, that one interaction. Jeez, talk about a New Year's resolution. What in the.
You lost confidence because of that. You lost confidence because of the, the bad interaction with his old group. See how decent that beer beer slime was? That little kanpai? The animation was a little too smooth there. Oh gosh. Am I not wearing glasses? Why the frick was that so blurred? Is that a lizard? Dragon? Damn. A uh, wizard? Some type of magic user? See, do you hear what you're hearing? This is what you call prejudice. <laughs> this is what you call being judgmental for no dang reason. Damn. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's just like super analytical. I mean, it came off kind of judgmental to me with the way he was saying the girl's a, you know, a privileged rich person. But no, 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 this. Still, though, not your right to judge, my guy. The least of your problems is that. Oh. What? Whoa. Hey, yo. Are all of y'all in? You're like, do you all feel that way? What? What, what happened? Hey. Are we going to get the, um, whatchamacallit, are we going to get the background to all three of these new characters? And how they became so, I guess, bitter about the world? <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, first of all, you guys are just instigating this out of nowhere. Second of all, you have little to no proof of any of this. Third of all, you gaslighting her into making her feel like she's in the wrong, even though what it seems like is she's just a genius or someone that's worked her ass off to be where she's at. And you're just a piece of crap. I'm hopefully wrong. I hope I'm wrong. And turns out they were actually in the right. But from the looks of them and from the prejudices that I have, obviously, they do not seem to be genuine. Isn't that, isn't that your insecurity? Why are you going to pile it on to her for you being, for you feeling belittled because you're not good enough, bud? Accept humility, humble yourself, and don't feel so entitled to such a title just because the girl's better than you. What is this? Good. Cut it off. Because obviously, you didn't have the balls. And you also didn't have, like... You were, you felt freaking... You felt, you felt belittled by her. When she was only doing it for you. Ridiculous. And now look. Now you're just dealing with this... All these jackasses. The school turned on her. The teachers turned on her. Everyone turned on her. Gosh, yeah. I uh, spent my whole life studying uh, art. Got to the top of it in my class then a bunch of political gar jargon and garbage led me to being kicked out and excommunicated within that said organization of society fuck them fuck them all totally makes sense why she's not trusting of nobody Damn. Is this why she turned to adventure? Uh, your chance to get rich. Oh, okay. She went to betting. No. No. I'm assuming she did it. She bet her life savings on some BS. She bet her life savings on a ticket. Lock. Oh, she won. Okay, so uh, we do not promote gambling here, but she did win. So kudos to her. When you do win, you should have never been in this situation in the first place. But if you do win, go, go. Don't even, don't. Because what I'm assuming is going to happen in the next scene is she's going to spend it all on more tickets and she's not going to win a dang thing and she's going to lose it all. Because the house, the longer you stay in the house, and by house I mean the institution that you're gambling in, the longer you stay, the more likelihood of you losing. Because the house always wins. <laughs> so I'm assuming she either... Hopefully, she took that one win and went out and bought her new wand, her cool-looking wand that our main protagonist uh, recently saw. Or, 
uh, we're going to see someone slowly descend into losing all their money from one gambling win. One or the other. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Ah, she has nothing to her name. A bathtub to blame. Barely any towels to clean. I'm guessing she just has some type of a resting, a resting a bitch face, you know, something, something similar that I got. A monster. She's not that. She's not ugly. What the hell? It doesn't come off like that. Hear it? You smell it? The perfume? So he was a well-respected cleric within a small town in his ministry. No, lady. I don't know how old you are, but you might be a little too young for this guy. Oh, that too, yeah. Yeah, that's a big thing too. He's a man of God. Forgot about that part. I was thinking more about the age gap. That's a little sus. But yeah, being a man of God will stop you too. Look how quick they flip on you. Dang. Do kind acts without expecting anything in return. You had an ulterior motive in the first place. That's where you went wrong. That's kind of messed up. That's an expectation that you had, little girl. Not the priest. It is a priest. He's a freaking priest. That's like me dating a nun. What do I look like? Asta from Black, Black Clover? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Oh no. Is she going to blackmail our cleric into uh I'm I'm guessing, I'm guessing this little girl will say that our cleric boy did some dodgy stuff to her when in fact he did not. Or he might have actually done some dodgy stuff and in that case, fuck him. So one or the other. And even doing, and uh, a further comment is uh, if, you know, either side of the story unfolds, then of course his, um, you know, his badge of honor, his, his membership to the cleric group will be revoked instantly. And that's why he's just not a cleric no more. Just like our main character said, whenever he didn't have his badge or whatever, being a cleric. Yeah, she made it look like 
he she made it look like he freaking um did some dodgy stuff so not all cases are like that but some are and in those cases the women are very in the wrong but majority of the cases the dudes are in the wrong or the older person is typically in the wrong so it's kind of crazy for the younger person to be in the wrong instead of the girl and the guy the younger person typically is not the only one in the wrong typically they're the groomed one but in this case it's not actually the case they were uh the younger one was manipulating and uh just took him down so now instead of uh finding god he found uh women and he just went brothel to brothel hopping 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 We can get rid of the beard though. It looks disgusting. Damn. She's one of those people that are coming to your life to change it, but not there to stay in it. Great. Amazing. Former praise. Well, yeah, he didn't have, he wasn't able to do that because of his occupation, so duh. No, 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 you can't generalize like that. Just like we can't generalize all women are like something. You just had a very horrible environment. What you on about, priest? I think she's gonna have the craziest one. She might have the craziest past. Ooh. What did they take? Oh, his, his one was even worse. It wasn't even a real relationship. It was just... He was just marked for basically a gold digger type of deal or a what is her tail dude what, what the basically a scam artist scam artist <laughs> Come on, don't give up on it. These are people, these are people. These are people that connect with you.
party. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it won't happen for a long, long time. <laughs> Not there for a long time. We're there for a good time. So we're going to see this band of misfits, basically. Or a band of, uh, basically, victims. Turn their, uh, turn their destiny upside down and save the world. But before that, I want them to get some good old-fashioned petty revenge on all those horrible, horrible people that did disgusting and, quite honestly, deceptive tactics on them. Hopefully... We'll see that in the coming episodes, and if not, hopefully we'll get a good adventure uh, and more uh, in the stories of these people and see how they work. The best type of trust is, uh, I guess, for this party is um, uh, not trusting at all. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I'll join me in the next episode whenever it comes out, and I'll see you then. Deep trust, untrust. <laughs>